You are not everything you could be, and you know it. Wherever you are in life right now, you have so much untapped potential. And the fact you clicked on this video is a clear sign that you need this wake-up call. Society tells us that we are good the way we are, and we get enough toys and digital drugs to distract ourselves. But deep down, we all have this feeling that there is so much more we can do and achieve. It isn't you that I care about. It is who you could be. This is the point of this whole channel. Don't sacrifice what you can be for what you are at the moment. Because the truth is that there is no heavier burden than unfulfilled potential. Old people don't regret what they did that didn't work. They regret what they didn't do that could have worked. They regret the chances they didn't take. I have a feeling that there is already a lot of regret in the millennial generation and that we are creating a generation of people who will overshadow their predecessors. And at least I don't want to fall prey to this. The solution is to develop a vision. So ask yourself, if I could have what I wanted, let's say in five years from now, what would it be? Have an inner dialogue with yourself and sort it out. And this is the neat part. You can aim at the things you actually want to accomplish. And I don't talk about the goals some self-proclaimed alpha male wants to impose on you. No, you can aim at the things that really grip you emotionally. And why would you not want the best for you? and act so that you get what you want. You might think, well, I will never get that thing I wish to accomplish. And fair enough. Maybe you won't because life is unfair and difficult. It is really scary to aim up and give all you have for a potential future. What if you fail? What if it doesn't work? But let me tell you this. First of all, failing is inevitable. There will be endless failures on your journey. So don't try forcefully to not make any mistakes at all. Second, even when you don't reach your precise goal, the fun is way more in moving towards the goal than in attaining it. And let's be objective for a moment. I mean, speaking in terms of money, making 800k instead of 1 million is better than making zero, even if you missed your target. And third, the alternative is far worse. True hell is when the person you are meets the person you could have been. You really don't want to get there. Honestly, regret is what scares the shit out of me. It scares me way more than failing. And what I've learned throughout the years is that you grow through discomfort. And I think neither I nor you want to hear the slogan, Oh, you're just good the way you are. No, sorry. I'm in my early 20s with my life ahead of me. I don't want to hear this crap. I want to hear that I'm less than I could be. That there are things I can improve, not just for my future self, but for other people as well. Where are you less than you should be? Where do you have areas with untapped potential? Is it physical, mental, educational, financial, social, or most likely all of them? It's so important to reflect once in a while and to overcome your own comfort zone. I did this myself six months ago. I set myself the goal of going consistently five to six times per week to the gym. In the first two weeks, it was a major change, but after that, it became a normal part of my life. And guess what? I don't regret it at all, and I still do it. Or last month, I set myself the goal of starting this YouTube channel and uploading a video every second day. It's still hard and challenging, but I know that I won't regret it in the future. What we human beings can do is amazing, but what we usually do is disappointing. Embracing discomfort and challenge is the way to do amazing things. You have to put yourself in a place where losing is always a possibility, because otherwise you're not pushing yourself beyond your current capacity. At the end of the day, you can't escape the sacrifice. The only decision you can make is what kind of sacrifice you want to make. I've sorted this out for myself, and now it's your turn to ask yourself if it's time to become the person you actually want to be with the life you actually want to live. Expand your time horizon. You could really be something, man. You have 60 years to work on it. Get the hell at it.